Good Monday evening, everyone. This is meteorologist Lena Mariarango from Fox 26 in Houston with your daily tropical briefing. Let's take a look first at the Atlantic because that is, of course, the basin that impacts us here in southeast Texas and Houston. And we've got some good news for you. No tropical cyclone formation, not only in the next two, but in the next five days. Take a look at just how quiet the Atlantic is right now, and that is just how we like to see it. But flying you over to the Pacific, which, of course, has been a bit more active uh, this year, so to speak, in terms of the season thus far, we have post tropical blast, which you can barely make out here on the imagery and the National Hurricane Center has issued their last advisory on that. We are still monitoring though tropical depression Celia. So let's take a closer look at the latest advisory for that storm, which is forecast to strengthen here, uh, but likely going to take a couple of days to do so. So uh, right now uh, we've got winds of 35 miles an hour with movement west at about 13 miles an hour, and it does look like at some point early uh, to the middle of the week here we're going to see this develop into a category one hurricane. Nonetheless, this is a fish storm, so it's out in open ocean waters. It's headed away from land uh, with no expected impacts to any land mass, but of course, something that we're going to continue to monitor. And the Pacific uh, hurricane season has been off to a bit more of an active start. Keep in mind, though, the Pacific hurricane season does start before the Atlantic one does. It starts on the 15th of May versus June 1st for the Atlantic uh, hurricane season. So already made it down to the C name on the list in the Pacific. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic Basin, we've only crossed off one name on the list, and that is Alex. And as mentioned, nothing else is expected to form in the next two to five days, so it doesn't look like we're going to be checking off Bonnie anytime soon. Plenty of time left to go. Keep in mind, the season does go until the end of November here, so in the event that we do make our way through that list of names, we've done that now for two years in a row where we've seen active seasons, and this is also forecast to be yet another active season once again. This is the supplemental list of tropical names that we would dip into if we run out of names on the original list. So no longer using the Greek alphabet in terms of a subsidiary list of names. Now, in terms of early starts to the season, this is actually the first year in the last five to six years where we haven't seen a storm before the start of hurricane season. So before June 1st, notice 2017, 18, 19, 20, and 21 all had a storm occurring before the official start of hurricane season. And of course, all of those being fairly active with total numbers of storms either in the teens or the 20s range, of course, as mentioned, with the last two being very active, running out of names and then dipping into that supplemental list of names. We did see Alex, of course, so far this season, but it occurred after the official start of uh, hurricane season. So when can we expect things to get a little bit more active here locally and in the Atlantic? Things really start to kind of turn up quite a bit in August, especially in September. This is where we see the peak of storms and locally. Once we get into October, that's when things start to quiet down for us. When, once we start to get those strong cold fronts that really push their way out into the Gulf waters, that's when that kind of acts as a barrier and keeps us protected or safe from these storms at that point forward. Speaking of the Gulf, taking a quick look at current temperatures out in the Gulf, we've got temperatures, ocean waters in the mid 80s, even some upper 80s in some spots. So if you are thinking of heading down to the coastline to get relief from this heat and cool down, it's going to feel like bathwater, man. Really warm ocean temperatures right now. Want to make sure you're staying connected. Although things are quiet right now, we know that things can happen very rapidly. You want to make sure that you've got that Fox 26 weather app downloaded. In the event that any watches, advisories, or warnings need to get issued, you can set this up exactly the way that you want it to work for you. So you're only getting notifications for your location and the ones that you want to receive right now. It's all about the heat, but it'll also notify you when those heat advisories go up. And of course, we also keep you uh, updated on all of our social media platforms. You can find me on Instagram, on Facebook and on Twitter at Lena Arango Fox 26. And you can also find daily information for our tropical briefings on YouTube. But we also have uh, a tab on our Fox 26 web website. If you go to fox26.com backslash tropics, that's going to do it for today for us again, Monday the 20th. We'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same place.